morning guys today is the day before my vacation and there is so much that i have to do so i'm currently getting ready for the day as you can see i already did my hair yesterday was not a hair wash day so my hair is a little bit greasy today so i decided to put it up into this little ponytail it also keeps it out of my face while i'm doing other things so i'm currently getting ready and actually in about 10 minutes i'm going to the nail salon with my friend nika yesterday was our last day of school so today is officially our first day of summer and tomorrow i leave for vacation just to give you guys a little overview on like my vacation as a whole as you guys may or may not already know I'm from Minnesota. I moved to California in seventh grade So my family ended up still wanting to have like property in Minnesota so that we can go visit like our old friends and family That still live there So we ended up getting a house on a lake and it is seriously one of my favorite places to be like I just feel like my joy is just at a different level when I'm there and every summer my family likes to just basically spend the whole entire summer there so usually we go from the beginning of June till about like the beginning of August or the end of July because my school starts in August. So we do have to be back for like all of our registration stuff for the next school year. And so this summer is no different. I'll be there for about five or six weeks, but I'm leaving for those five weeks tomorrow and I have nothing packed. And actually for the first week that I'm there, I'm bringing my best friend Nika from California with me to spend a week in Minnesota with me, which is just gonna be so, so fun. So we're getting our nails done today and then tomorrow we're leaving for our vacation. I still have so much more to do today besides just pack and get my nails done. So I decided I would take you guys along with me today. It's definitely going to be a busy day. It's going to be very busy, but we're going to get everything done. So I'm pretty much all ready for the day. And the first thing, like I said, is I'm going to head to the nail salon with Nika. We're going to get our nails done. My nails right now don't have anything on them. They've been natural for the past few months. So I'm really excited to get a new acrylic set. But yeah, let's go ahead to the nail salon. All right, guys, I'm back from the nail salon. It's about an hour later. This is how they turned out. I literally am so happy with them. I wanted to get like a light pink chrome because it's like natural, but also chrome is fun. I've never gotten chrome before and I felt like for my first set of the summer, why not try chrome? So I ended up getting this light pink chrome and they literally look so good. I also love the shape, the length, literally perfect. I love the place that I go to. They always do good every single time. That's what they ended up looking like. I'm so, so happy. Nika also got a really pretty red color. So. I got that done. Now I'm going to be packing a Depop order. I am closing my Depop shop for the next like six weeks while I'm gone and I have one more order to fill and ship out before I leave. It's like four items. So I'm going to pack that order. We'll get that shipped out and then we'll finally start packing because it's currently around 2 p.m. My flight tomorrow, we have to leave the house at 9 a.m. So time is ticking and I really need to get started. So let's pack this Depop order and then continue with everything else. what it is but I always feel so awkward vlogging like in public like when I go to the post office like I just feel so awkward like vlogging myself shipping the packages and stuff so I don't get the most content in there but I'm back I just used some hand sanitizer because you never know what has touched all of the stuff in there we also have some aquaphor here I like to have this little bag of essentials in my little armrest here because you never know when you're gonna need something like that but I got my last depot package shipped out I also made sure to check my PO box before I go and now we get to head home, so I'll see you guys when we get there. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning platform that has hundreds of classes, including career-focused classes, so there's definitely something on there for everyone. Remember, no goal is too small. The Skillshare teachers take you step-by-step step to help you reach whatever goal you're trying to achieve. Two main goals that I have specifically for this summer are to maintain productivity and organization and to continue to grow my presence on various social media platforms. And there are two classes that I've been taking to meet these goals. The first one is social media success, video storytelling on YouTube and VR by Lily Singh and Productivity for Creators, Systems, Organization, and Workflow by Ali Abdal. Both of these classes I've been loving and I love how each of the classes on Skillshare is kind of like split up into the different sections, I guess. So if I'm looking for like a specific piece of advice or topic within an overall category of the video, I can just skip around and all the videos are just super interesting to watch. And like I said, there are so many topics, so there is definitely one for everyone. Even though I'm out of school for the summer, I definitely still want to maintain my productivity, organization, workflow, 
below and all that kind of stuff and Skillshare has definitely helped me achieve that so far and I cannot wait to continue it throughout the rest of the summer and the first 1,000 people to use the link that is displayed on the screen and also linked in my description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so make sure to go check them out down below I would highly recommend like I've stated so many times already there's something on there for everyone so I would highly suggest you go check it out thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to the pack with me okay so I just had to film a quick sponsored section for a different video but I made this packing list last night of all the things that I want to pack and I did it on notion so like the little boxes they check off once you pack it because I'm gonna be gone for like five weeks I'm definitely going to be packing much more than I would like a one week trip and I'm checking one bag I'm going to try to pack as much as I possibly can and hopefully it won't take too long although I know packing usually takes a while anyway so we're gonna get started on that right away and I want to start with clothes because that's usually what takes so long anyway since I'm gone for so long it's kind of hard to pick like what clothes I want to bring because I kind of just want to bring my whole closet so I can pick through everything when I'm there for the whole five weeks but obviously I can't my dad went to Minnesota a week early to kind of prep the cabin and stuff and do some extra projects that he wanted to do so I sent a few things with him but obviously the majority is still with me and I'm gonna have to bring it in my bag my mom is giving me her black like rolling suitcase to check because it's pretty big hopefully everything fits honestly like I'm just hoping everything fits so I think I'm just gonna go through this packing list and first grab everything from like my closet my dresser the drawers everything that I want to pack within this clothing section and then we'll go through it put it in packing cubes and hopefully fit it all in the suitcase I'm also gonna be having my summer playlist playing on my Google speaker as I pack because obviously I need music playing and I just made this playlist for summer so we're gonna have all the summer vibes playing as I try to pack for my trip Okay guys, so I picked out all of the clothes that I think I'm gonna bring. I'm doing one more load of laundry, but I don't know how much is in that laundry that I'm gonna wanna bring. But I have gathered all of my packing cubes. I got them in a set from Amazon. They're so cute, they're pink. And they have a bunch of different sizes. And they have these little like labels that are kind of like suggestions of what to put in each. Low key, I kind of just shove all my stuff in and hope it fits. So I don't always follow these, but these packing cubes are so helpful. This is all of the clothing that I wanna bring. I don't think Think it's gonna fit I know I'm gonna have to make some decisions but like based on every place I have clothes in my room these are all the pieces of clothing that I want to bring and I definitely don't think it's gonna fit I have to fit all of my stuff in that black suitcase by the way so maybe if I like tightly pack everything in a packing cube it'll work but I'm not so sure about that so I think I'm just gonna try my best and obviously I'll make some decisions if I don't want to bring something and honestly just hope that most of it fits I think I don't know I think I'm just gonna try it out and see what happens Okay, so I fit everything into these four packing cubes. So that's really good. There's only like a few things that aren't in them because I'm still doing my load of laundry, but I don't think there's too much in there that I'm really gonna need. But I didn't fit one hoodie and then one pair of sweatpants, which those I can just put in the suitcase anyway. So now the hard part is going to be fitting it in my suitcase along with two pairs of shoes and my toiletries that I have to pack. So I can check these off of my packing list and now just figure out putting everything into this suitcase here. I'm glad everything fit into these packing cubes but honestly the real challenge is going to be fitting everything as a whole into the suitcase so I'm gonna try to figure that out also I'm gonna start getting my toiletries together and finalizing things I also picked out my airport outfit here I realized in the middle of packing that I'll probably want to wear some of the sweats that I'm packing on the plane tomorrow so I picked those out right now so that they're all ready for tomorrow but yeah it's been about an hour or two it's currently almost 4 p.m. so we're on track doing good and now we just have to figure out putting everything into the suitcase case. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys an update on what I've done. This is what the suitcase looks like, and I'll just give you guys a little tour, I guess, of what I have packed. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to expand it because this side is like a little higher than the actual suitcase. But first, I have my two white fox hoodies. These are like my two favorite ones. So I just have them on top because they don't really fit in a packing cube. Two tote bags, some extra liners, this black purse, and then they're just packing cubes underneath here. And then moving on to this side. So we have my last packing cube here, Crocs, flip flops. This is my sister's retainer cleaner that I'm packing for her. Extra tampons, two extra pairs of sweats that didn't fit in the original packing cubes. This is my makeup bag, my Lululemon fanny pack. That is my jewelry box, so it holds like all of my jewelry. More period products, my hat, and then my Nike blazers. So that is everything that I have in here right now. All I really have to pack now is my carry-on, which will be a backpack. So this is pretty much set. I hope it's not too heavy. I'm gonna zip this up now and see how heavy it is. I'm hoping it's not too heavy. I think it's a fit. 50 pound weight limit. So we'll see how heavy my bag is. And then I'm gonna eat some dinner, take a shower. I literally have to do a whole body shower tonight. I'm shaving, doing my hair, my body, skincare, literally everything I'm doing tonight. Then I also have to like work on charging my electronics overnight, pack my carry on, and we'll basically be set. So I'm gonna make sure the suitcase isn't too heavy and finish up everything else for the day. Another part of prep that I do before I go on vacations, especially one that's as long as this one, is I like to clear off my MacBook. So obviously I have all of my videos stored on here, like their editing files, their clips, the finished product, all that kind of stuff is all stored on my MacBook. And obviously that builds up over time. And every once in a while, like every few weeks or so, I always load the stuff onto my external hard drive. But I don't like to take this traveling with me just because I've heard like bringing it through scanners and like in airplanes and tumbling around your bag can ruin like the files on there and obviously I don't want that so I make sure to put everything onto my external hard drive before I go on a vacation. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm going to be placing all of my recently finished videos on this hard drive and then cleared off of my actual desktop so that over the next five weeks I don't run out of storage and not have a place to put the content if that makes sense. So my content is now on this hard drive and my computer is all cleared off. I'm currently in the process of packing my tech. I always pack it in this bag, which goes in my carry-on because I don't like to check my tech. Most of the things that I'm putting in here, I am leaving to charge overnight. So that's fully charged by the morning. So examples are like my MacBook, AirPods, my Beats. I have the case here, but they're currently charging. My phone, my speaker, stuff like that. All of those are charging. But the things that I have in here are earbuds from a Delta flight a long time ago that I never opened. My blue light glasses. This charger is for my speaker but it's currently charging on a different charger my little handheld tripod and then this is the container that i use for my camera my vlog camera that i'm bringing i'm charging up the batteries and stuff so here's the case for it and then i also put extra sd cards and batteries up here but obviously i don't have those quite yet but everything will go in here in the morning and then that'll go into my carry-on which i actually have right here the carry-on that i always use is this jansport backpack it's black i have this little pink converse keychain on it i have a navy blue jansport for school and then this one is like my backpack for travel and like sleepovers and stuff this one is an older backpack than my blue one my blue one i just got last year so this is the carry-on that i use and this is just to show you guys like what i'm putting in it because i'll kind of be filling it up like throughout tonight and in the morning because a lot of this stuff i kind of have to wait but i have my laptop sleeve in here this one is a few years old it's from amazon i like it because it zips like on the top so i can just pull my macbook in and out really easily but it also keeps it protected while i'm traveling like i said i also have this little tech bag that goes in there as well. I also make sure to put snacks and then in this front pocket I usually just put like random extra stuff. I honestly don't put too much in here. I try to keep it as light as possible. So yeah that is where we're at right now. It is currently 6 p.m. I'm about to go eat some dinner. After that I'm going to shower and then after my shower I'll finish packing some stuff up. Obviously my electronics I'll probably wait till the morning. Also me and my mom weighed our suitcase. We have this little thing that like hooks onto your suitcase and then you lift it up and it weighs 
these your suitcase for you I can bring up to 70 pounds and my bag weighs 53 so we're doing good it's definitely a lot of stuff and I can't add any more one because there's no space and two I don't want to go over the weight limit so yeah my bag is basically all packed I have to add some toiletries later but as for now we're doing great so I'm gonna go eat dinner this camera battery also needs to charge a little bit since I've been filming all day Thank you. 